federal judge just dismissed my next guest's lawsuit against the TSA's porn and grope tactics that are an unreasonable search and seizure and a direct and profound violation of the Fourth Amendment. So what's his backup plan of attack against national security tactics that go too far? Getting dual citizenship in Mexico? Maybe even running for president of the United States? Who else here to discuss is the former professional wrestler and Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura. Governor, it's a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Judge, always a pleasure to talk to someone, somebody out there that ha that's sane. Oh, Let me put it that way. You're kind to say that. Thank you. What, what happened to you with the TSA? Judge, what did they do to you? Judge, and what, what did the courts do to your lawsuit against them? Here's what people need to know, Judge, is this. With the dismissal of my lawsuit, it means that every airport in America does not have to abide by the Constitution or the Bill of Rights. It means that the, that the Patriot Act has given the TSA power that if you go out and you get abused at an airport, there is nowhere you can go because the federal judge ruled they don't have jurisdiction. Well, this is a constitutional issue. If a federal judge doesn't have jurisdiction, then who does? Now, they tell me I should have gone directly to the Court of Appeals because of all the secrecy. Well, that's a catch-22. My attorney told me, the filing starts when you file the case. You right. have 60 days to take it to the Court of Appeals. Well, the judge sat on it for 10 months. So if I took it to the Court of Appeals, they would rule the statute of limitations had run out. Understood. And this, this is a terrible, un, unfortunate and unconstitutional result. Well, what are you going to do about it? Did, did you tell our producers that you might be interested in dual citizenship in the United States and Mexico? Uh, are you thinking of running for public uh, office so you might be in a position where you could actually change this so that what happened to you won't happen to anybody else? Well, first of all, hopefully we can wake up America. Let me repeat and tell the United States of America citizens, when you go to an airport, you anywhere in this country, you are not protected by the Constitution or the Bill of Rights. OK, so what People is Jesse Ventura to going that. to do about that? <clears throat> well, Jesse Ventura lives half the year in Mexico by choice. Uh, I, I'm going to apply for Mexican citizenship, but not for this reason. It has its advantages to be a citizen of both countries if you're living duly okay. in the country. So that's really not an issue uh, of that. But I will tell you this, Judge, in light of this decision, I'm not going to stand for the national anthem anymore. I'm going to be like John Carlos and Tommy Smith in the 68 Olympics. Because until I can get my day in court, let me quote Kevin Costner, my friend. This is not the country I was born in, and it's certainly not the one I want to die right, in. You're, you're when he said you, that you, in the movie JFK. You are a former Navy SEAL. You are the former governor uh, of a state. You are a well-known public figure. And you're not going to stand for the national anthem because of what one dumb judge did who doesn't understand the rules and is not faithful to the Constitution? Judge, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stand up any way you can. What other way do I have? Right. What other thing can I do to bring attention to the fact that this country better damn wake up right. to what's going on? And it's not going to, Judge, it's not going to end there. They're going into the bus stations. They're even Tennessee has okayed what they call TSA Viper teams on the highways. Wow, that's that's roving you're teams of TSA officers stopping you in your cars as you're driving. Uh, I can't exactly. imagine that a judge would, would, would permit that, but I want to change to another subject. Were you surprised when the federal government took over for 30 seconds today every television station, cable and broadcast, and every radio station, satellite uh, and landline in the land just to see if they could do it? Well, I think it's also to flex their muscles so that they now know they can do it. Remember, the Internet's been running wild. The government doesn't have control of it. So the best way to control it is, they, it was in my last book, the president has the power right now to completely shut down the Internet. Our Congress gave the president that power. And it is time that we start looking at our Constitution and Bill of Rights again and start realizing that we mean nothing if these documents mean nothing. If, and right now we have a government that tells you they're meaningless. They if, don't mean a thing. If the Republican nominee for president 
does not articulate the views that you have just articulated so forcefully, so forcefully here on Freedom Watch. Will you, Jesse Ventura, consider running on a third party for president against Barack Obama and whoever the Republican nominee may be? Judge, I don't know if I could afford to do it, because I, when I ran for governor, I only raised $300,000. I actually made more money with my salary as governor than I spent to get the job. So the only, the only way I could do it is if the libertarians approach me because they have ballot access throughout the country and that's the key you've got to have ballot access but then what they will do they will keep me out of the debates because they've done it before remember you I, have a two-party dictatorship I, I, I that runs this country i can't imagine why they would want to keep you out of the debates governor it's a pleasure keep fighting for human because freedom and thanks for joining us Thanks, Judge, and I'll tell you why they'll keep me out, because I could win. God bless you, Governor. The Herman Cain you scandal.